already, it's already mine. Yes. And 
and, and we're gonna we're gonna work together with each other and, and, and use our manners and repeat please pass the peace. Please. Just pass it to me. My faith requires you to pass it to me. Just pass it to me. There, there's a season that we've entered into just now where the Lord is going to cause people that are sitting amongst you to pass things to you. Oh God. See, see, at one time you wasn't, you wasn't allowed at the table, but now you're at the table when kings and queens eat, princes and princes eat. And God says, if you lose your faith, I will call them the passion thing that you can have access to the last season of life. But now you're in a season where if you just lose your faith, they will pass the peace to your baby. I want somebody in here who understands that in a new season that they get the peace of passing them, even when they never taste those type of peace. I ain't talking about the brother peace. I'm talking about great peace, baby.
Jesus says this in the book of Matthew, the fifth, the fifth chapter, I believe it's the 46th verse, maybe it's 44, five, actually 5 and 48. You don't have to turn it up because I've got to keep moving. He says, be ye perfect, for I am perfect. Yeah. And we, we, we taught this extensively yes. last year about what it means to, to do what Jesus said at that statement in verse 48. He is not asking us to do something here. He's pretty much telling you to do something here. He's commanding you. And he won't command you to do something that you don't have the ability or the means to do. So he says, be. And I love to take a step forward when I say be because I understand what be means. He tell me to be something, that means I gotta leave where I currently am. Yeah. 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 Whenever he tells me to be something, that means I gotta leave yes. what I was currently was. Amen? Yes. In order to be. Yes. And that's why a lot of us can't ever be because we never step out of what we was. So therefore, when we find the scripture that says, Therefore, any man be in Christ, he's a new creature, old things are passed away, before all things have come new. You don't never see new because he won't make a step forward. All God is Step forward and come to the table that I command you to come to. Yeah, last season or yesterday, you could eat at this table. You was a dog under the table. But today, baby, my perfection is required you to be forward, move forward, and get your seat at the table. Somebody said, I'm stepping. I'm stepping. I'm low. I'm low. Into the new. I'm at the table, baby. Because I understand that I'm perfect, 
any and everything around you that's not perfect, I can change. Yes, 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 yes right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can change. Yeah. Then he says, be ye holy, for I am holy. Amen. And this is where another place where we will be losing that. You got it in Leviticus 19, verses 2 and 3. You also have it in 1 Peter 1, 15 and 17. Now we're going to turn there. 1 Peter 1, 15 through 17. So I get you to understand something about these peas being passed to
It means how many curses and stuff. Ain't about that. But what it does, if we, if we don't understand that conversation, we will live a cursed life. Yes. Yeah. Because there is a will that God has, 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 has set for us from the sins of all this in the world Amen. That, that shows um, health, wealth, prosperity, dominion. Amen? Amen. But if, you don't, if you're not having that same conversation, yeah. now you're not having a holy conversation. Yeah. I'm preaching and teaching right now. Yes, 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 yes. So some of us, um, I, I found myself, and I want to talk about me for a moment, I found myself had the conversation with God when I first got saved, I was in prison, so I had a conversation with God about my life. Yeah. Yes. He laid it out to me. Right. Yeah. Right. My problem was, though, because I understood yes. that time yes. wasn't created yes. for God, but for me, yes. I knew time could either work with me yes. or against me. Yes. So I knew I could I could take my faith now and cause time to work for me yes. and not against me. Yes. So I found myself trying to do things right. out of sync, right. out of God's timing, yeah, right. yeah. out of God's placement in my life. Right. Yeah. So I found myself making Malachi free not work for me. Oh, I'm about to help this morning. Yes. Malachi 3, most of us only know the part about we robbed God, we're man robbed God. Yep. Some of us been around enough, long enough that actually started paying the time here and there, yeah. giving the offer here and there, but it's not the part that you open the windows of heaven yep. and pour out the blessings and have that room to see. Yep. But most of us get stuck right there. Mm -hmm. We don't understand that it's also a part that says that you will rebuke the power for our sake. Yes. Amen? Amen. Meaning that, that when money shows up, yes. he keep things from breaking down. Yes. He keep things from just all of a sudden the unexpected debt show up. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, 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 you can get sick all of a sudden that will spend now to some inheritance money that yes. shows up. Amen. Yes. So, but God said if we if we give our time and our army, he reduced that from ever happening. Amen. Yes. But I don't want to get so excited about that right now. Okay. There's also a scripture that says, I will even allow the fruit of your vine. Yes. I'll make sure your vine will not cast its fruit before time. What is that? That's the plans, the provision, the, 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 the things that I told you to do. I'm going to make sure that you get them done in the proper order in time. Yes. You won't talk about that trying to build a house when it's time to do this right here. You won't talk about that trying to, trying to get married when it's time to go through the season of just waiting on me and let me build. Help you. you won't go forward by God help me in this place. Amen. 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 You won't get out of seat with me. Amen. So you gotta make sure your conversation is right. Amen. If if all you're talking about is new car, new car, new car, new car, new car, and I'm saying fix this one, fix this one, fix this one, fix this one, <laughs> repair this one, repair this one. Your conversation is on hold right now. Yes, sir. Oh, God yes, help me. Yes, yes, That's why we got to know what, what conversation God is having with yes, us sir. and about us. Because yes. when we have the right conversation, I'm sure what happens. Come on. The Spirit of God has the ability not to move freely mm. in your life. Yes. According to Genesis 1 and 1, yes. the earth was empty, yeah. void, yeah. And gross darkness covered it. Yes. The earth was in bad shape. Yes. Right? Yes. But because the Spirit of God was moving yes. over the face of the earth, because yes. it moved over the waters of the earth, correct? Yes. And the earth was in sync with what God wanted to say to it. Yes. When God said, Let there be light, everything about the earth, around the earth, yes. had to obey God's voice. Yes. Yes. So when we are not in sync with the voice of God, and the spirit of God, when God is saying, let there be wealth and health, and we're saying, no, I want to go do good, so we, and we have a conversation, a great conversation, because yeah. guess what? Yeah. The death and life is the power of the tongue. Yes. Yes. Amen. And how do we have conversations? With our tongue. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Right? Yes. Right. Yes. So now that I have an understanding of these things, I say, hold up. Holding is perfection. Ain't what I thought it was. Because when I look at what the word holy means, 
It simply means to be consecrated and set aside for God. That's all it means. But we made it to be something else. That is not. Holy simply means that it was set aside and concentrate, consecrated yes. for the use of God. Yes. And then with that understanding, I now look at what was used by God. Yes. And who was used by God yes. throughout the entire Bible. Yes. And all of these men and women didn't live a holy life. Yes. I'm about to preach now. I'm about to teach. Yes. There was a woman named Rahab. Yes. And I just saw this her by calling her a woman. Oh my God, can I say that like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not ashamed of 
your mind, it has nothing to do with this. Your mind has to be transformed and changed. That's right. It has to be renewed. Why? Because you're thinking wrong. And therefore you're talking wrong. Come on now. So what happens is this. God shows up to you, Rahab. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you, why are you there? Yeah. Do what you do. Yeah. And there's a knock at the door telling you to open the business or, 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 or buy a house or, or do it right here. And, and God has a conversation with you. Mm-hmm. But you take your credit report and say, it's above you, God. You take the, 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 the know you got yesterday and say, but yesterday, God. Mm-hmm. And how you what you just said to me? Mm-hmm. What if the first one is saying, you can move all you want, Holy Spirit. You can move all you want, Holy Spirit. I ain't obeying nothing he said to me. Because, because gross darkness is covering me. That's right, Apostle. If it is in me. But the earth didn't say that. Because the earth who was talking to him. Yeah. The earth in a conversation that was coming out of heaven had the ability to change him instantly. Yeah. God. Jesus. Jesus. And sometimes God has shown you your life yeah. in the messed up place you are right now and saying, look, right now, if you do this here, right now, and here, talk, Jesus. Come on, I can set your steps. Because the steps of a good man or woman are ordered by the Lord. I heard somebody say, order my steps, Lord. Jesus. But it's a disgrace for God to give you the order that you would disobey. Oh, 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 help me hold that note. How many times has God given you an order? Because yeah. you want him to order your steps. Only for him to tell you to keep walking before we go. And this is God doing. Really? I'm sorry. Go to um, James 2.22. Don't, don't go to Matthew 6. Just have a point of Go to James 2. 14 through 26. What you want to write down? Because for the sake of time, we got to keep moving. James 2, 14 through 26. Ready? 
Abraham, I was wrong. Justified by works. When he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar. Seest thou how faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect. And the scripture was fulfilled, was said, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. Ye see then how that by works man is justified, and not by faith only. Likewise, also was not Rahab the heart justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. I'm going to show the Holy Spirit was doing this closing. He's been talking about perfection and holiness and what causes us to walk in perfection and holiness. So, with that understanding now being said, and notice, Abraham simply chose to hear the voice of God and adhere to it. In doing so, it caused him to walk in perfection. Even when it looked like what he was hearing was wackiness. He was told by God on one morning waking up, to get up and offer his son, his only son, Isaac, as a sacrifice. To him and everybody, but to everybody else around, it didn't look and sound great. That's right. But to Abraham, it was the perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. The perfect will of God. That's right. So he walks in perfection by fulfilling what he hear God say to do. Because the conversation went from, I'm going to give you a son, and the son shows up, to now change to, now offer me that same son I gave you. That's why it's so important that you don't let time dictate you, or you don't let circumstances or, or even things you get control or put them in position or places above your God. Amen. Abraham had the ability to take Isaac and put him on the throne of over his life above God, but he chose not to. Amen. Anytime God ministers to you and tells you to offer something to him or bring something to him, and you find it as a struggle there, that's not because you place that thing above God. Amen. It's out of place. Amen. It's not in the rightful place in your life. Amen? Amen. So in closing, I want you to understand one thing. God has called us to perfection. And we have to learn what our works are. You learn your works by hearing the voice of God. Yes, I have faith. But my faith is nothing if I disobey the works or the orders of God. When God starts ordering our steps, we walk in faith, remember? He starts ordering our steps. We got to we got to carry out the orders okay. that we've heard. Right. Amen? Amen. If that order is okay, I'm leaving God for a new car. I sold my seed, and I and I'm waiting on this. And God says, "Well, um, you, how many people? How many car lots have you visited? How many times you been on on, on, on car guru? How many times you done this? And you and your your, your response is done. Amen. What are we doing? Amen. That's the analogy of taking the shovel, mm -hmm. leaning over it, and saying, God, will you please dig this hole for me? Amen. When he's giving you the shovel, they dig the hole with. Amen. So when he begins to order our steps, we have to learn how to let him order our steps and walk in the order of it. Amen. 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 Stand to your feet.
to be us, for us to be perfection. Allow us to know how to become holy, God, and holy is to become us. God will receive that from you now, Holy Spirit. Father God, we receive that from you now. Lord, there are many things that you said to us that we may have been rejected up to this point, God. Holy Spirit, we repent of those things now in the name of Jesus. And we ask you, Lord God, to help us walk out in perfection, walk in righteousness, walk in holiness. In Jesus' name we pray. And believe in the heart, say amen. Amen. And say amen again. Amen. We love you. We dismiss. And may God bless you.